So we got the, the mess here in a clean scene and uh, I think it's a good idea just to look at the, the wireframe before we start mo uh, setting up the skeleton and you can see that I got three loops around the arms um, elbows sorry and around the knee um, and also places like here I got that because I want my mesh to deform and where it has to make a sharp bend we really need three edges to make uh, a nice bend in uh, the mesh and also the face there's a lot of important parts about where the edge loops are going you want them around your mouth and they're going up to around the nose you want them around the eyes and you want it from the mouth o and over the face um, it's a whole other lesson talking about edge loops anyway you can see that on my fingers I also got three edge loops around every joint where every joint should be and uh, that's basically it so I think it's time to get started mm. normally I start around uh, the leg so I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna switch the viewport by holding space middle mouse button to the side and um, for this purpose I'm gonna show it in um, by pressing 4 I'm gonna show it in viewport by, uh, sorry wireframe um, and the first thing I'm gonna do before I get started is to uh, click on this little arrow and make a new shelf I'm gonna call this my rigging tools and you get a clean shelf so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to animation up here and in the skeleton the uh, tool we wanna use is join tool so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold control shift click on join tool and it's gonna add it to the shelf and now you can just pick it over here and uh, start making the joints so the first thing I'm gonna do is I would like to have hips in the uh, in the character and the way I'm doing gonna do this is just to make a hip like this a little joint and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna end it right here where the leg starts so this is gonna be the upper leg and it's gonna go down to uh, the knee and then it's gonna go down to the ankle and from the ankle it's gonna go uh, I guess it's the toes and from here it's gonna go out of the shoe so you can see here it's uh, going outside the mesh and I'm thinking probably it should be uh, a bit longer down so what you're gonna do is you can't really just move the joints because that's gonna change the orientation of them and the orientation is very important um, so you always want you can see here if uh, I'm gonna move it around this joint will still have this, uh, this orientation so it's gonna be pointing this way and uh, you really don't want to uh, mess with the orientation so what you can do instead is, oh, is just scaling joints you see in this way it will keep the orientation and you can of course also rotate them but you can't as I said you can't move them around so I'm just gonna fit this more nicely and you can see now it fits much better uh, by the way this model is um, is on the website polyface.com so if you need it you can just go get it or if you got your own model you can uh, use that I'm gonna go to perspective mode by holding uh, space middle mouse button going up and uh, my joints are placed in the middle so because this is the first joint I made I can move this around so I'm gonna move this out so it fits and you want the joints to be kind of in the middle of the mesh and it looks like it's about right so that's fine 
then I'm going to go to the side again. And what I'm going to do now is to uh, create the spine. I'm going to select the joint tool again. And I'm going to start about... I think I'm going to start around the crutch. And I'm going to make one joint. Uh, in total I would like nine joints in the, the spine. Um, this can be a bit tricky, but let's try to do it. Three joints, and I'm gonna form them uh, kind of the same way that the mesa. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm gonna continue this. This is gonna be the neck neck joint and this is going to be the head joint so I made a long chain of joints there uh, what we're going to do now is we're also going to add one for the jaw and this is going to start from here I place this joint around the ear because this is where the jaw is normally attached and I'm going to make it a bit down first and then out side of the mesh. Um, I forgot to say that when you're making the leg, you always want to make sure that it has a slightly bend in here, so it is not totally straight. You want this because uh, later on we're going to use an IK handle that uh, automatically bends the knee. If you don't have this um, little bend, it will bend in a wrong axis. So you want this little bend. If I go to perspective mode, I can uh, show the model by pressing 5 and taking the wireframe on shaded away. If you click this little icon, you can see the joints through the mesh. It's an easy way to show the joints, and uh, it looks right now it looks fine, I think. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the top view. And I'm gonna do uh, the arms now. You might think, why am I going to the top view while uh, my character is in a T pose? Um, and I'm doing this because you want the bend in the arm also, so you can use IK handle. Um, and the bend should be in the elbow from this angle. And uh, the easiest way to make this bend is just to make it from the top. And then later on, I'm gonna rotate it down so it fits. Um, this is gonna be the shoulder, and it should be starting somewhere around there, going to this uh, shoe, sewing, whatever, in the arm. And this is the upper arm and the lower arm. Normally, I like to make the lower arm like this. I make it, I make it to around here, and then I make a little joint from here, just to make. Um, um yeah it's for the hand so it can rotate properly because yeah I'm gonna go that into that later on. For now I'm just gonna make it and I'm gonna explain it later on. So remember you can move the main joint. So I'm gonna move this up. Oh, did I remember the bend? Yeah, this is slightly bent. So, anyways, now I want to fit this joint a bit more. So you can see now it's way too short, but it doesn't really matter because I can just, let me show iframe again. I can just scale it, oops, like this, and you can see the joint end is uh, right where the middle uh, edge loop is. And uh, I actually think I'm gonna rotate a bit more. Yes. And then I'm gonna scale this again. So it fits. That's uh, much more, that's a lot better. Um, 
and I'm gonna go to the top view again 